Another stock in focus is Coach and Shipyard on the back of its second quarter earnings. Upasna is here to tell us how did the numbers look. Upasna? Well, Sonal, overall number misses the street estimates. There was a rise in material cost which impacted margins and profitability of the company. Margins are under pressure for both the segments on a one wire basis. Now, company's key segment, that is shipbuilding segment, which comprises nearly 70% of the sales mix of the company, saw a margin downtick of 210 basis points on a one wire basis. This was mainly due to change in the product mix and no IAC order. Now, higher cost of material and sharp fall in other income led to a low single-digit pad growth of 4% on a one-way basis. Now, mind you, Q2 is a seasonally weak quarter for the company and order inflow in Q2 also remained muted. Now, coming to the numbers, revenue stood at 1143 crore with an uptick of 13% on a one-way basis. EBITDA margins, as highlighted earlier, saw a downtick of 170 basis points and stood at 17.2%. Pat saw a growth of just about 4%. And mind you that the company after Q1 had given a guidance to us that it is targeting 20 to 25% revenue growth for FI25. EBITDA margin it is expecting in the range of 17 to 19%. And company expects ship repair segment to touch 1,250 crore. And as of H1 FI25, it stands at 527 crores. Okay, all right. That is Coach and Shipyard for you. The stock is lower by 5%. Thank you, Pasna, for joining us with all those detail, details. Let's talk markets now. Earlier today, we